Welcome to SignaFlow Academy, where our ninjas show you how to use your system to its full potential. So, you'd like to learn more about signing a document? Please note, I'll be walking you through the signing process starting with creating a workflow and ending in signing a document. Step 1 is creating a new workflow. Step 2 is to select a document template or to import a document you'd like to use. Step 3 is adjusting your document settings then proceed. You can rename your document, replace your document, split the pages in your document, start a new portfolio with your document or add your document to an existing portfolio. You can set your document's priority, how important is your document, your document's due date, your document's auto-expire date, and an auto-reminder and custom message. To learn more, visit or create a simple workflow module in our basic user course. We have extensive lessons on workflow and its unique features. When you are done making your changes, you can click on Proceed. Step 4 is adding two signers. You can adjust your signature settings. What is the action required? Do you want this document signed, approved or just viewed? Will you allow a proxy? Force a digital certificate? And you can select a signature type. To learn more about digital and electronic signatures and their differences, please watch our lesson on digital and electronic signatures. Please note that the first signer you add or that's in the queue will receive the document first. They will have to sign first before your second signer will receive their document to sign. Step 5 is to go to Doc Prepper. Step 6 is placing your signature fields. Be sure to select the signer before placing your signature field. Please note that the two signers are different in color. The first signer is blue while the second signer is yellow. The fields you place for each signer will match this meaning fields for the first signer will be blue and fields for the second signer will be yellow. You can also load a template with your fields already placed. To learn more about saving a template or field placing, please visit our Doc Prepper module in our basic user training course. We have lessons on applying and saving a template and also a lesson on field placing. Step 7 is to release your document once you are satisfied with the fields you've placed. Now I will show you the document from the perspective of the first signer or the blue signer. Also remember the second signer will only receive the document after the first signer has signed. Step 8 is to open the document for the first signer or the blue signer. Step 9 is to fill in all the information needed. Please note that the fields in red are mandatory and must be filled before I can sign. Step 10 is signing as the first signer. It's the second signer's turn. I will show you the document from the second or yellow signer's perspective. Step 11 is to open the document emailed to the second signer or the yellow signer. Step 12 is to sign. The second signer or the yellow signer has no fields that need to be filled in before signing. The date and name field are auto-populated by the database. That is how you sign for the first time. Thank you for watching SignaFlow Academy. Request a demo or keep watching SignaFlow Academy to learn more.